This week's Power Pole, Real Rancho on top, and Lawrence Gilligan back in the building. Lawrence, what do you think of that? Uh, well, you know that what? Way, huh? That's your school. That, that's my school, and they're playing pretty good football. You know, we're going to have highlights later on in the show from their Thursday night matchup. But, uh, you know, you look at Rio Rancho, you look at Goddard, they're rolling pretty well. La Cueva was, uh, was stagnant, but uh, Artesia and Cruces may flip flop. And yeah, that's going to change. It, it looks like a pretty good poll to me. Yeah, and Los Lunas, uh, you know, Atrisco Heritage, they've been really coming on, and they suffered their first defeat. The people we're going to find out in a yep. few minutes here. Yep. St. Michael's, how about the horsemen? Mundo, our intern, Mundo, that's his school. And he's been giving them love all year, and we've been telling them, okay, well, we'll see. they, they got to keep playing. They've been doing it. You know, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, El Dorado's going to probably jump a little bit as well. But Manzano, too, that's a big win over Valley. I don't care what you say about that. You know, uh, El Dorado also idle. So, uh, I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. Looks Interesting. Mayfield Berlin tied in the final spot. Not too bad. All right. Thanks for your help there, Lawrence. He'll be back in a few minutes. The St. Michael's Horsemen, we just got through talking about them. They can call themselves the king of the city different. The Horsemen beating Crosstown rivals Santa Fe and Capital in back-to-back -back weeks. Yeah, you got my back. St. Mike's D stepping it up early, forcing a Jaguar punt, but the Horsemen returner can't handle the kick. And guess who recovers? The home team, Capital, jumping on the football. Gabriel Rincon will try to find some space up the middle, but uh-uh. Not going to happen on this play. Then Patrick Gutierrez, he's trying to make something happen. Looking for Derek Chavis, but the throw is off. Jaguars will go for the field goal, and Derek Gomez, something is working. Gomez. Das boot, 41 yarder. That guy got a lot of legs. St. Mike's would have an answer. Corey Cerna getting the football and Corey chunking it deep. Greg Carrasco hit in stride for the perfect touchdown. And I'll tell you what, this is not much of a ball game. St. Michael's win it with that touchdown because it's 57 to 3 is the final. Not a lot of games going on last night. Lawrence Gilligan is back with the Thursday Night Rewind as Real Rancho battled the Trisco Heritage. Lawrence. Yeah, thanks, Van. The Rams are putting together a solid season so far. Last week, they took care of Las Cruces. This week, they try to hand a Trisco Heritage their first loss of the season. Jaguars fired up hosting the Rams at Milne Stadium last night. Rio moving the ball on their first drive of the night. Easton Barrera to Austin Patterson for the completion. That moves the chains for the Rams. A few plays later, Rams draw first blood. It's Barrera to KJ Jiggets and check out Jiggets getting jiggy with it. I went there. I know, I know. That was, that was, I know, I know, I know. That was corny, but hey, he gets in for the score. It's 7 0 Rio Rancho. How about this? You know what, those Jags are pretty feisty this year. This is Nathaniel Good with the touchdown pass. We're tied at seven, but this one belongs to the Rams. Brewer scrambling, finding Ulysses Astorga, the bear jaw clinching down on the Jags defense, breaking off a 59-yard touchdown run. Astorga would get injured during the second quarter, but comes back in the fourth as the Rams outscore the Jags 21-7 in the second half en route to a 49 28 win. All right, well, that's your look at the Thursday Night Rewind. I'm all smiles as Rio Rancho hands at Trisco Heritage their first loss of the season. The Rams improved to 5 and 1 on the year, while the Jags fall to 4 and 1. There are no teams left in 5A that remain unbeaten. Ben? You know what? That Astorga kid, man, that kid has big game. He, he runs with a lot of heart out there. And, you know, he went down with a knee injury, but uh, he was held out in the first half, came back in the fourth when Atrisco Heritage cut it to only seven points, and uh, it, it proved big for real. He wants you to wear your Letterman jacket for the next Oh, game. man. Hey, I, if they make it to the state <laughs> title game, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I, Everybody on the floor laughing because I, I keep trying to get you to wear about that. Yeah, Letterman I don't know jacket. where it's at. I don't know where it's at. Right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Should we force Lawrence to wear his Letterman jacket? <laughs> He's laughing. Okay. The final quarter is upon us. More Football Friday is on the way. First, take a look at our trivia question. Do you know the answer? I bet you do. 